All right. Thanks everyone for jumping in today. Uh, busy Friday, lots of stuff is happening. Uh, before we start, I want to ask for a volunteer for note taking for the call and uh, identifying actionable tasks. Basically, interrupting us if you see that uh, we're discussing some actionable task, uh, inquiring who's responsible for it, and at the end of the call, uh, summarizing um, all the follow up actions or actionable tasks. Is there someone that will help us uh, today? All right, Manuel, go for it. Sounds good. All right, so before we, we start, um, one, one interesting video that I've shared in the general Slack channel is uh, kind of a result of our yesterday conversation about how to actually like establish an entity that other organizations can work with. And it has a lot of like dependencies, like we have to have a mission statement, we have to have the bylaws, board of directors, and all of other <laughs> extremely boring stuff. But you know, it actually brings up a very valid discussion about our vision, our values, and you know, who we are as, uh, as an or organism. So that video covers uh, pretty much a, a brainstorm session that I had with the f founder of Max CDN. And he, he was willing um, to help me formulate some of the things that we've already uh, uncovered. So just to give you a glimpse, uh, so you, you can watch that video and uh, learn more how this list uh, came up together. But basically we listed out the vision as a, we are a collective intelligence of self-organized groups with the goal to solve the world's biggest problems through data. And you know we can iterate on this, but this is pretty much what is happening. And as core values, we identify transparency, Transparency builds trust, the foundation of great teamwork. Share the love. We love sharing our good, open source. Impact. We are impact and not money driven. We are result driven. Results count, not degrees. Own it. We build trust through total accountability. Don't drop the ball, pass it. Initiative. We don't hesitate in taking responsibility and improving what, we, uh, what can be improved. And demand driven. We, don't not, we do not solve problems that do not exist. Simple processes, document, run, feedback, improve, repeat, and emergence. Uh, this one is kind of half-baked, but basically we're self-organizing groups that kind of emerge out of nowhere. So I highly encourage you to check out that video that I've shared just to better understand how we uh, formulated these. But that's pretty much what I see that is happening organically. Okay, so um, let's let's get back to the agenda um, and the things on on the on the invite. So the number one item is uh, coordinators' progress, onboarding coordinators versus team coordinators. Um, Daniel Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, why don't you grab that? You've been you've been right in the trenches on that one. What was that? Sorry, I'm literally reading a message just coming. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly it. We're, uh, we're just a, an update on getting those, uh, those team coordinators and the connectors uh, going. Um, it looks like Dan does not as, um, Dan's VT team is not as interested in taking on new, new people right now. He's basically described it as, as the running at limit right now and they can't coordinate any more people. So um, any more people is just going di to dilute the concentration with the team that he's got so far. So he's happy with that. Um, <coughs> I'm on board, with regards to onboarding, um, I am I am right now, I'm kind of pointing people in the direction and hoping they take some, some work on their own in the sense that they actually reach out and they actually make contact. I don't know if people are, but at the same time, I have marked them all and obviously I'm in all of the threads. So in a couple of days, I'll come back and see. I don't want to, Book people because obviously different time zones, people's different availability. I'll give everyone probably a couple of days, and I'll start going through and say, you know, did you did you make contact? Did you reach out? Did you not? Anything else I can help with? So I'm going to try and make a point of doing that. But I've also been kind of doing data stuff on the side, and yeah. But I've and there's a few people I've not placed right now, and um, uh, Anton and I had a pretty long conversation last night about coordination and thoughts and how to best um, onboard the tech skilled people. 
and about the different, not the hierarchies, but the different skill levels and how to best, um, like there's, there's a difference between like people with a lot of skill and autonomy and people who have got the technical know-how, but not the, they don't understand the autonomy and they can't like work out the problems themselves and go solve them. So it's people like that are trying to work out where people are in all, like levels of autonomy and, and, and self self management. And it's about trying to work. Um, I might need to start working out where people are on skill sets because obviously someone can turn up and say, I could do this, 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 and this, but they might only have ever done them in an environment where someone's given them a specific task to do. And it involved a specific skill that they've practiced, but they might not understand like the bigger picture thinking of how to solve their own problems or work out what, how to solve a problem rather you know, with what tools and what methods. So I'm going to try and concentrate on that. If people do turn up with what looks like a lot of technical skills, um, I've, I'm going to kind of sample some to Anton so he can tease out the more, the specifics cause I'm not, um, literate enough in the specifics of, the, the nuances of the softwares that exist or the, the systems that exist. I understand it on, on a cursory level, but I wouldn't be able to pass the difference between a, a mid-level skill set and a high-level skill set. I could only guess. I can, I can, I can read people's, I can read people when people um, are talking very vaguely. I can understand when people are not uh, are, are good at ex talking, talking a good talk and not actually have anything to back it up with. But it's, uh, I'm just trying to work through that and I'm trying to work out how to make that more efficient. Uh, Ogly and I have um, are both trying to do some coordinating, but, and I've noticed that uh, um, and one of the team members, the Aussie team members, as she's been pulling people in when she sees, when I was in bed last night. So it looks like there's other people on the other time slots that are doing that a little bit as well. But um, I don't really have anything else to report on that. Yeah, sounds great. And I think the point that you're uh, validly bringing up is kind of the believability uh, metric that we're, we're trying to explore, right? Like whether a person just, you know, is learning about NLP, had the Coursera course and has some basics or whether he worked, you know, for 10 years uh, doing exactly that. And I think, you know, there's also some cool technology to build to kind of automate these processes, like looking at the LinkedIn and basically giving you a quick uh, kind of summary and stuff like that. But for now, you just have to use your, your own judgment to, to extract that. Okay, so the next piece is discussing human resources challenges and team needs progress. Who wants to take that one? Daniel, maybe? Um, well, again, that's where I think I think Tyler's been doing some of those connections. So it sounds again like Dan, Dan Sosa's team is, uh, is is doing well on that. My my assumption is that we're we're checking in with with the different teams so that we can we can find out what they need. But for sure, if any teams uh, have a specific need, uh, let Tyler or Ogilvy know, and then we'll be able to to try to meet those. Um, the other piece I'll, I'll I'll quickly put in there is I'm going to try and experiment this afternoon from that's for that self emergent piece. Um, so if, if there are people who are spinning their wheels, not sure what they should be working on, but are wanting to dive into something or other, um, I'm going to be starting up a little a little channel and we'll have a, a brief call around that. I'll post around that. Yeah, um, it looks like Andrew started something and I've had a, a look through and I've made some notes on that so far. But uh, yeah, I'll happily join in with that for the conversation about um, yeah, yeah, language choice and how we want to phrase it. And yeah, it's, we've, I mean, we've, we've all been discussing different like, you know, emergent properties and describing the way to describe things, but I'm happy to join in with that, even if it's just to bounce. Yeah, and just, and just to clarify, so, so the thing that we'll, be, that we'll be trying this afternoon, uh, rather than discussion around self-emergence, it's going to be an actual experiment in self-emergence. We're going to bring people together uh, and get a few different ideas uh, around, around what we might be able to have some of the folks who aren't on our team right now uh, up to. Yeah, definitely bringing in more people who are not taking part because it seems like the people who are talking a lot uh, are talking a lot and we need to try and get other people who are not sticking their head above the parapet for whatever reason to try and get involved in whatever way they want to do and obviously broadening the pool of um, knowledge and resources and information and points of view because otherwise it's going to be... Yeah, and one thing I, I wanted to bring up, there was this... Um, um, there was this change yesterday in the transformation of um, the data sets channel into data uh, with uh, the creation of new team that is called task data sets. 
and basically that was uh, again emergence of um, of the fact that before we kind of had a team which was Brandon and a couple of other people that are helping Brandon to structure the data sets and we never really had uh, some formalized um, team around that so I think it's it's a good time to finally kick that off and it starts with this push from Kaggle to try and formalize the outputs for for each of the questions and if you're listening to this call and you don't have any task that you're attached to it would be great if you could help us um, make some progress uh, within that domain okay so the next piece is communication. Uh, just uh, Arthur, I'd like to just make a statement on here. Uh, since we have got access to a lot of GCP credits, I believe a lot of data is being moved into GCP buckets. Uh, so uh, there is a cost involved when the data uh, goes across the regions. Like if it is in US East, you move it to US West, there's a cost involved for, for, for per bit transfer of the cost. So you should be very careful if you're using that as a database, right? As a data warehouse. I mean, so data warehouse we're using at the moment. So just be careful about it. And I hope the team which is involved with creating those VMs or those notebooks on GCP knows about uh, those costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would highly encourage you to join the task data sets and help Anton uh, figure uh, that out. I am, I am, I am added to that thing, I guess. All right. But Sounds good. I just mentioned it in this call because a uh, lot of people important using it for the first time are not aware of this data charges that are incurred and these are those are very high and most of the credits can just go off and those data charges so just be careful about that. thank you so much all right so the next point is communications quick update podcast ideation uh, not sure maybe daniel you can give us a quick summary and then i'll jump in with the podcast uh, update uh, yes, yeah, so just a couple of, of, of quick things for the communication side. We have the, the new website is almost ready to launch. We're just doing a quick run through of it. Uh, and then hopefully by tomorrow, I will have that up. So Rohan's been doing an amazing job with that. Um, we are working on a few different fronts. We have a couple of, of the, the templates kind of continuing to get honed and, and thrown out. Um, we're, our team that's working on the Dr. Stibe call is going to be uh, hopefully putting, putting together some promotional material for that today. And that calls on the 15th for anyone who wants to join, 9 a.m. <coughs> Um, and yeah, I don't know if, uh, if either Arthur or Evgeny, if you want to talk a bit about the, uh, the podcast idea and how that's shaping up. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take a second to uh, give a quick summary. We have Evgeny on the team who joined us yesterday and he has, uh, he has some experience with the podcast, uh, creation and overall processes. He already created a Google doc that outlines pretty much what we have to do. And I created the podcast, uh, channel. Uh, I think it's a private one, but if you want to to help us with that, uh, just ping me and I'll or Evgeny and we'll add you to the Slack channel. So we're kicking off and trying to uh, you know potentially hit the um, like I'm not sure if it's possible to have a podcast next week, but we'll we'll try uh, to do that. What do you think, Evgeny? Totally possible. All right, awesome. Let's do it. Excellent. What, one last thing I'll throw out for, for communication quickly um, is for everybody, if you're seeking for information or talking to different people about what we're doing, to remember um, how exciting what we're doing is. Because since we're, we're in the thick of it, and so it's kind of hard to remember how mind-blowing it is from the outside, um, but some of the best recruiting that's able to happen, you know, we talked to a person yesterday about possibly using a snippet of their code. They got us in touch with the founder of their company who's excited and now talking about how we might be able to partner with them on, uh, on leveraging both our sets of artificial intelligence to work on things. So um, ev evangelism for what we're doing is very easy. As soon as people find out about what it is, there's a lot of people who are excited and want to get involved. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain that, but uh, you know, I would recommend throwing uh, the Wall Street Journal article, the interview, and those are two pieces that worked so far for me. Uh, just to give a quick update on communication stuff, there was a very interesting conversation that I had today with a uh, guy that uh, is working on a nonprofit that is helping um, uh, basically um, fundraising and different initiatives for doctors. Um, and like he, he brought me back to earth in terms of understanding how complex that stuff is. is. So we may need to rethink like how to do it right and maybe partner with a couple of nonprofits as a starting point. But yeah, um, again, it's very hard to explain very quickly what we're doing. But once you do, 
the it's just super exciting for people to to help all right so we'll jump in into team reporting i'll quickly remind the structure for team reporting so first thing high level progress quick summary on what you're working on then time to results what what are the results and how soon you can uh, share them with external uh, teams and blockers what do you need help with so we're going to start with uh, task risk factors maya hi how are you uh, so basically we have a uh, high quality extraction on uh, pollution a extraction on uh, population density risk factor population densities that require some tuning we have some preliminary results on uh, risk factor for existing heart diseases uh, um, it's time for us to start uh, shaping the final notebook uh, we are, we've discussed today uh, during the team call uh, sections such as uh, background, uh, methodology, uh, descriptions of data sets, because in the different parts of the code we uh, speak with different uh, data sets and they have to be properly described. Uh, advantages and disadvantages of the methodology applied. And the problem that uh, even though we, we've managed to uh, uh, ensure uh, extremely high relevancy of uh, papers, it feels that probably we miss something out. So it seems that from that from this point we are at now, uh, we might need to implement the, fur the further step, which is a uh, search based on similarity. And uh, Brandon and Lucas are working on that. So I hope they will be capable of helping us not to miss out papers. But uh, so far, I think that after tomorrow, we start uh, already uh, completing the, the final uh, notebook as it has to be. Amazing. Sounds perfect. Like this is exactly the timeline that we're, we should be looking at. Uh, any blockers? Anything you need help with? Uh, we are happy so far. Perfect. Next team. Daniel, I think he's uh, uh, he's not available today, but Manuel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on on Tazio, uh, after we got um, how is this? Uh, I forgot the name. Iverson uh, starting uh, managing the the things. We have a starting uh, to regard uh, traction about the people who has uh, started tasks but leave them uh, on hang. So we we should start uh, having uh, more speed delivering results. Uh, currently, we are working already on the first version of the uploading of datasets. That will be pending to to decide if it's either on Kaggle or on Google Cloud, but we'll, we will do both. And for what I see, uh, well, for all the pending data sets that Daniel mentioned, should be finished during the weekend, more or less. This is all we have. And so after uh, it was, sorry, I'm, I got bad memory for the names, uh, Cassie that uh, make an amazing um, deliverables uh, spreadsheet to decide how are we focusing our work that we are working on and with the uh, data specification that you uh, brought from that is done on Kaggle uh, then we'll be focusing our work uh, on the next days uh, to fulfill all this. Amazing. Any blockers? Anything you need help with? Uh, well, one of the things is that uh, most of the people that we are that are working right now, except the NLP people, uh, maybe don't have so much availability. So we are taking a long time uh, to to be able to deliver results because the people who are working maybe well, can put two hours every day or something like that, and it's not we are not able to be as fast as we would. But beyond that, uh, we are fine. So does that mean by that do you mean <coughs> you need more more people? Or more time, like literally just more, more, more time. Yeah, but we, we can, yeah, more, more people or more time, but uh, we cannot okay. uh, make more time, so more people will be helpful. So more people with more time, ideally. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and and so what's this task geo? Um, I'll have a look. I'll I'll see if I can reach out for anybody else. And and um, say NLP specific or NLP learning, NLP high skills if you can get uh, we, it. We have we have vloggers on the NLP tasks that we are trying to solve, and also with the gathering of of uh, data for the task teams and task VT. I know task uh -huh. uh, risk and task, uh, ties. Uh, that maybe uh -huh. is a little uh, stalled. Okay. So do you, do you need data, so data processes? Need people to help with data processing. With that, you need people with who can data process. Process, yeah. 
Data oh, processing. Uh, sorry, but on this. Data processing. Can you repeat it? Yeah, data processing and, and data engineers will say better than okay. Python developers. Okay, so data processors and data engineers specifically. Yeah. I'll look out for them and I'll see if I'm put so that's towards task. I think I've sent a few I've marked a few people for past task geo today with a leaning towards that. I don't know how they are on skill level. Let's we'll find out when they get talked to. Um okay. I'll um, I'll tag anyone's I've added today to you, Manuel, so you can bring them in and find any more of our engine time from them. If you can onboard them, it'll obviously bring them up to speed quicker. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Next task, transmission, Christine. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> so uh, we have our uh, first kind of simple output visualized and published on Kaggle uh, through Michael, uh, Mike Hun, sorry. And um, so we kind of just kind of work on doing more research on um, the topic models and we will uh, evaluate the results uh, these few days. And um, on the other hand, we're working on, you know, extracting data from the papers, especially more metadata, general information. Um, there are some people working on that. Um, yeah, and then I'm hoping to really get started with the Kaggle notebook. Uh, hopefully start it no later than um, this weekend, and I do need some help with that. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah, that's uh, probably what we uh, are doing right now and what I'm going forward. Sounds good. Do you need help with anything, blockers? Yeah, just uh, help, help me with the Kaggle notebook, like, uh, Planning and you know organization. Be so you need you need a someone to help manage and coordinate, um, coordinate the putting together the Kaggle submission. Yeah. Right, right, right. So you need someone who's going to be able to pull all the information together and start helping helping you write it and yeah, express I'll it. Yeah, I'll be working on that, and then I just want some extra help. Yeah. Okay, I'll see what I'll see what I can find. There's a few people who have popped in to, talking about somebody's talked in a very generalist sense about being a good mm. communicator and wanting to be delivering, and I'm like, I don't really know what to do with you. I'll find something. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe someone who's good at communicating might be able to help. And it, what about technical yeah, skills? Do, does that do they have a particular technical technical skills or just a comprehension of what you've done? Yeah, the comprehension of what we've done. That's just great. just just to be able to comprehend, not necessarily have to program or build anything. Right. Okay, cool. All right. I can look for that. The, and the next team, uh, vaccines, Dan Sosa. Hey, everybody. Um, so the general theme right now is that we're just trying to make our pipeline of drug treatment extraction more accurate. So people are working on training their models. Um, annotators are helping to annotate data. So things are good. Things are just continuing for, for that as far as the first deliverable. Um, yeah, the point that I brought up yesterday was just to say that, like, it would be great for, for the team leaders to have a way to just be like, okay, here are the needs um, that we have and we need like maybe one or two people to fill them to kind of like open the pipeline of like onboarding being directed to a certain team. And then just quickly turning that off when we have like those, those spots filled. So it sounds like I'm just gonna be more diligent looking at the, the spreadsheet that we have, chatting with Tyler and Ogily, and that should, I think, hopefully uh, address that, so. I think uh, I mentioned in to Olga mentioned it earlier on. She's trying to set up rather than it being a spreadsheet because we all hate spreadsheets because they're obviously it's just an extra thing to try and track. She's going to try. She's going to set up um, uh, a Trello task and hopefully work out a way to link you guys to it. That way you'll be able to request and then we'll be able to take it on and off and hopefully mix. It just makes one less thing to have to track. That's kind of the we're all realizing that having several different systems that are more layered on top of each other it starts to get i mean we're all getting to the point where it's like spreadsheets and yeah i have a quick and pages suggestion and pages and links actually. links for days um yeah. i have a suggestion we can create um, a slack channel for team leaders which is needs and basically you can just quickly you know write up what you need and you know coordinators can work with that because it does sound like spreadsheets are that, you know, extra dimension that everyone, um, you know, can uh, take uh, in, into their mind. But basically, if team leaders can quickly message in that uh, channel, communicate what they need, uh, also as coordinators communicate in a thread to figure out the specifics, I think that would function better because it's more conversational and, and more human 
versus spreadsheets. So maybe we'll, we can try that today and see if it yeah. works. If it doesn't, throw it away tomorrow. Yeah, and um, when it this comes to... Yeah, sorry, cool. No, yeah, I was asking Arthur if this was an actionable item or you will handle by, I mean... Yeah, it is. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, when it comes to onboarding or talking to new people or if you can, anything that's going to be in a self-contained conversation, if you want to expand on a conversation or ask questions about a thing that somebody says, try and use the threading method methods rather than the main page because the threads it'll turn it it'll turn it more into like a forum type of thing rather than a very 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 long conversation that could wash away something useful because it's a conversation when when you could have a, like a, an independent thread that somebody could read and also if somebody pops in with a interest in this or an interest in that and they all kind of get intermingled it makes it harder to, for anyone to read whereas if you use the threads the threads will help keep contained conversations within themselves and then people only people who need to read it will go look at it or you know the people who are interested in it and um if anyone else is new to slack some like even arthur didn't realize you can make um you can make like different areas for things they're called what's it called maybe you can share your screen real quick to show okay I'll sh yeah it's just i've kind of I, i'm not an organized person in my brain i'm not organized so i have to organize the world otherwise it's just all my old brain gets lost and everything so i am um, i've been doing basically well how many screens have i got too many screens <laughs> yeah it, it was uh, a eureka moment when he sent me those screens I, and I, I well i did it with them um, with them um, i did the same thing with what is this going on we can see it and yeah yeah okay so what i've um i did the same thing with anton earlier on when i was talking to him last night i said what and i'm like yeah you can you can group stuff so you can actually make a create a new section and name the section and then drag channels into the section pause the sections when you don't want them open them when you need them and you can also drag private conversations into them which is how i'm managing knowing who the hell's in what team right now because i'm literally putting the leaders of each like data team when i've got data with well, data i don't know i'm leading that right now but i've got task risk and i know maya's leading it and even if there's other conversations i'll know maya's leading it because i've built up a bit of a brain on that one and like same daniel's right now i can see he's offline but i also know he's leading task geo task vt there's a few conversations in here but i know danny's leading that but there was a conversation with a few different people and, and I know Malavika is obviously involved with some data cleaning in there. Uh, Task ties, even though I've not had much of a conversation with um, Christine, I've seen that I know she's leading the role, I know she's leading it, so I'm keeping a track on it. And also for personal notes and personal memories and stuff that you need to remember, but you don't know where to put it, message yourself. You can edit it, you can train it, you can teach it, you can, and it, nobody else has to see it. But if you need to find things, things that you might copy paste a lot, things you might, be reusing and it's a way of just keeping an internal notebook without having to have a separate place for it even if it's a case of just keeping links for yourself and then deleting them when you need to you could have one just called links and just copy paste links into one place and you've got rather than yeah having remembering browsers and spaces and spreadsheets and you know we're all we're all overloaded with different ways of doing things but the only way i can keep track of things is just put right to store it store it and organize it otherwise my brain for, it falls out i just can't do it anymore this is anyway. amazing you you just uh, changed the efficiency of hundreds of people navigating yeah that's a, yeah i mean to a certain extent i've even started to bring different groups of like i've got a hr accounting because somebody popped up saying i wanted to do accounting and i'm like well if whether he joins it or not at least i've got a mark saying that he's interested in doing the money stuff i've got ugly under hr right now because i'm kind of treating hr like onboarding so i'm kind mm -hmm. of <laughs> because HR is kind of onboarding and bringing people in and communicating with the team and, this, and obviously at some point um, how people are feeling and what's going on or if there's any other problems or if there's you know like say conflicts someone's going to have to try and solve conflicts or if you know sort things out so I'm just going to realize the, the connectors are often doing a little bit of that anywhere in the, in the multi they're in multiple teams so it may be a case of I'm just trying to trying to organize things in my head. Same as like the podcast and the public relations and the content stuff solving the communications because it's some form of communications and maybe at some point I'll end up with a group that's internal communications and external communications. I don't know. It's organic. Like you say, we'll organize as we go along. <laughs> All right. But that, that looks awesome. Thank you so much for sharing it. And again, if you see something that works for you, guys, just please share it. There is a big chance that it will work for uh, you know, other people. All right. So I kind of had, a, I'd, weirdly enough, I'd, I'd, I'd a thought earlier on to make for the people who are browsing and looking for people. Um, 
if people can use statuses for themselves, I've literally put my like the UK flag in status. If people can put like their um, time zone, because obviously everyone has a time zone and you can click on a person and find their time zone, but it's just extra clicking. And if we can just put your own time zone in it, it gives people an idea of where you are. And even if, and if your status is just like time zone and available here to here, if I'm normally on between four and six o'clock at night because I'm not at work, it's just say available between four and six in this time zone. It gives us an idea when you're going to be around and when you're not. And it's just things like that might Let's make it a little easier to, to find people. To write a, a guide how to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I might, I might have to start. I might, this might come part of onboarding. It's like when we, when we, it's like this is orientation and do this, 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 and this. Yes, let let's do that. All right. Actually, that was an action item, right? Mm hmm. For sure. Perfect. And sure. who's responsible? I think Tyler. <laughs> All right. So it it does sound like we're gonna have a crazy busy weekend coming up. So let's. Let's prepare ourselves. Um, overall, amazing progress, everyone. Uh, again, like keep up the the great job. Don't burn out. Like there is there is still life after this weekend. So obviously we want to hit that deadline and we want to do amazing things. But stay healthy, stay uh, stay sane, and please um, you know don't burn out. All right. Uh, I don't think we have any time for Q and A today. Uh, unfortunately, but I'll be uh, recording the call. Uh, oh, I'll be uploading the the, court, uh, <laughs> the call to YouTube shortly. And, oh, the summary. Yeah, I got uh, tell people who may help to add the podcast the podcast channel. Uh, spread the gospel of Corona Y. Yeah, when we were talking about the materials and maybe create some materials or something like that, I was not, I don't know if I get the, the whole idea. Uh, Christine from Tastai needs somebody to help her with uh, the Kaggle notebook formatting. Uh, on Tastai, we need data engineers, uh, create a Slack channel for needs of team leaders, and update the Slack guidelines with Tyler suggestions. I think that is all I, all I have. Is that fine? I think so. All right. Thanks, Manuel. Um, yeah. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day or night. <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye.